Hi, I'm Edie Hill. When I compose instrumental music, I very often go to something extra musical as a point of departure. Um, uh, a poem, a piece of visual art, a natural phenomenon. And um, I use this extra musical thing, in this case, Judith Schechter's The Battle of Carnival and Lent, um, to inform instrumental color, texture, motivic material, and overall structure of a piece. Um, one of the things I first noticed about Judith's The Battle of Carnival and Lent was the different experience between a zoomed out and uh, a zoomed in view of the window. A zoomed in, one notices striking arresting images. Um, and as one moves out, one notices um, how the, uh, uh, the violent imagery becomes a bit more obscured. And um, one notices the, the window as a whole uh, um, as a magnificent piece, um, kind of bejeweled. And this reminded me of the famous image of, of Earth from space as a blue jewel. And that idea in contrast to um, an idea of a close-up or a close-up snapshot of a uh, society in turmoil, um, in conflict. And that, that idea of microcosm and macrocosm was very interesting to me. So that's what I used as structural material for Blue Jewel. And some things to listen for in the piece. Um, the first musical gesture you hear is uh, very kind of discordant and um, uh, strong and um, meant to musically um, illustrate the close-up microcosm. Then as the piece moves, the perspective changes and uh, there is a stepping back. And at the very end, the the alto flute plays a line over um, kind of a drone in the ensemble. And that is meant to musically illustrate um, that earth, uh, that blue jewel in the distance, or the window in all its magnificence. Um, so I uh, hope you enjoy the piece. Thank you for listening.